Hello, and welcome to this crash course that'll get you up to speed in Disco. Before we get started, I just want to point out that different Disco plans have different features available, so there may be some things that your account doesn't have access to. The first thing we'll do is upload some files from our computer into the playlist creator on the right hand side of the screen. Simply drag and drop to start uploading or click to browse your hard drive. You can upload audio, video, photos and documents and even zip files. Once the upload finishes, you can click on the artwork to play any files and scrub on the waveform. Disco also allows you to store and edit data and information on the tracks. So hover over the info icon and then click view full track info to open the metadata edit area. On the metadata and lyrics tabs, you can edit ID3 metadata, the travels when you share between discos or downloads on AFE and MP3 files. Fill out your fields as best as you can. The most important thing is that it's clean information and that you've got your contact details in the comments metadata. Now that we've created a playlist, we're ready to save it. Playlists are folders for organizing all of your files, but they're also a method for delivering, so there are a lot of different settings here on the Save Playlist pop-up. Once the playlist is saved, it creates a URL that we can share with anyone, and they don't need Disco to access it. We can stream audio and scrub on the timeline. We can play back video files. And we can view any documents and images. All the different files are individually downloadable, and you'll see that there are multiple formats available on audio and video files. There's a download all option and save to disco saves the files straight to your recipient's disco account so they can avoid uploading and downloading altogether. When you're ready to promote your music, you can use disco pages. Artist and album pages are design templates that you can apply to any playlist on its presentation tab. This is an artist page for Melina. There's a big hero image at the top a bio or press release. You can have social media links across here, the tracks and files that are in the playlist, and at the bottom, a video that's been embedded from YouTube. If you need to share a playlist, open its menu where there are lots of other options and open the share area. Select the copy URL tab and copy the public playlist URL. You can email this or text it to anyone that you'd like to share with. Just note that these links are not publicly available. We just call it the public playlist URL because it's what the recipients interact with when you share with them. They're not inside your Disco account. After you've shared a playlist, you can open the playlist stats. This shows you page views and playlist downloads, and you can hover over the numbers to see which tracks were downloaded or streamed. Disco inboxes let us receive files from other people and minimize how much time we spend uploading and downloading each day. If we open our team inbox, you'll see a link icon at the top of the screen. Let's copy this and open it up. This is the inbox upload page, which you can share with anybody who needs to send files to you. They don't need Disco to use this page. They can either drag files on to upload, or if they have Disco, they just copy a share URL and paste it here. They can fill out the form and hit send files. Back in the Disco account, if we open the team inbox, we can see the playlist that I just sent to myself. The message I wrote on the form is at the top of the column, and we can play through the files, put them into new playlists, edit their metadata and add notes, and use them however we please. While browsers home to all of the playlists and files that you upload into Disco, there's no organizational structure. On the other hand, channels are Disco's filing cabinet, where you can add folders into folders and organize playlists into them. To create a new channel, click the plus sign and give it a name. And when you're finished, select the Create Channel button. Now that you've created a channel, you can drag playlists directly into it from the Browse area. There's also an Add to Channel option in every playlist menu. If you have multiple versions of the same track, like instrumentals, acapellas, and stems, you can nest them together. So I want to nest this instrumental and this drum stem under this main version. Open the Manage Nesting option under the Track menu. Click Add Existing Track and then find the different versions. Once they're added, you can tell Disco which type of version they are. So that's an instrumental and this is a stem. It doesn't matter what kind of stems they are, they'll all just be called stem. And it moves them into a different section. Once you're finished, click Save. If we open up the share page, we can see our stems nested nicely under that main track. 
Whenever you need help using Disco or learning more, go to the bubble in the bottom right corner. This is where you can chat to our support team or find our support centre, the School of Disco with video courses and register for classes. Lastly, I highly recommend that you download the mobile phone app and that way you can work on Disco from anywhere. Happy discoing, please reach out if you've got any issues and we'll see you soon. Cheers.